Imagine Learning works with millions of students and thousands of schools and school districts each year. But last year, Jonathan Grayer and the Imagine Learning Board of Directors, they decided that they wanted to do more. They wanted to give back and we formed the Imagine Learning Foundation. After we formed the foundation, the first thing we did is we went to the entire Imagine Learning team. These are educators and teachers and salespeople that are out there in the field. And we asked them, what, what should the foundation focus on? And they came back to us and they said, student well-being is what we want the foundation to work on. We know there's a mental health crisis out there and we'd like to see what the foundation can do to make a difference. We've just completed our first grant cycle, and we are really thrilled to have picked two amazing winners, two new long-term partners for the foundation, Up To Us Sports, which trains coaches to teach their players how to deal with the challenges that face children today, and Erica's Lighthouse, which is an amazing organization that's trying to address the stigma associated with mental health issues. So they're great partners. They're really aligned with our mission and we're really looking forward to working with them. The goal of Up to Us Sports is to be sure that every kid in the whole country has a coach who's also a mentor in their life. Kids are, are dealing with all these sort of emotional challenges sometimes just because of the environments that they're born into. Well, we've got to break that isolation. We've got to get find ways to get kids more participatory to address the stresses that they're dealing with, realizing that some of the challenges that, that youth face cannot be solved by the classroom and the teacher. They have to be solved by these extracurricular life skills building activities. We are really grateful to the Imagine Learning Foundation because we're still seeing funding cut to sports programs. We're still seeing costs becoming prohibitive. So our question for the Imagine Learning Foundation was, we've done all this work, but who are the advocates for what we do? And how do we let them know that this is important? And the best way to let them know is to do a study to see if they experience the kind of improvements in their role that we know we're having. There's no program to go out there and ask a young 18 to 24 year old, especially one in the community that we're going to serve to say, you played sports? Come join us and be a coach and you will end up being probably one of the most powerful leaders in your neighborhood. And our vision is that one day every kid can say one of the adults who cares about them in their life, one of the adults who helps them set goals and believe in themselves, who helps them get through school, who helps them address challenges that they may be facing every day, is their coach. And there's no reason why every sports coach in America should not have that role. Erica's Lighthouse was founded in 2004 at the loss of a young girl who died of her depression was sadly the second suicide in our small community in Chicago's North Shore in that same year. Erica's parents, family, friends, um, and peers really took what happened to Erica to heart, and they wanted to turn that loss into action. And so what came out of that was Erica's Lighthouse and what we are today. We have now spent almost 19 years focused specifically on school communities, focused on depression education, good mental health, help seeking, and really leveraging this idea that depression education is suicide prevention. I think the real key for us is that mental health still has stigma. There's still fear around having these conversations, making them important and impactful, and not making the situation potentially worse. And what we're doing now with the Imagine Learning Foundation and the funding from them is updating our family engagement pillar to be more inclusive, more expansive and more opportunistic for our school communities to leverage. Our parent handbook is being updated to be our family handbook, to be more inclusive of modern families, to really recognize that a whole family is impacted by mental illness and depression, and to really focus on how they can support their youth while also supporting themselves. And at the end of the day, if somebody knows how to find help if they're experiencing depression or mental illness, if somebody knows how to promote their own personal good mental health for the betterment of themselves and others, then we've achieved our goal. We were looking for partners that really share our mission. They want to do things that benefit learners outside of the classroom at home in their communities. And we were looking for opportunities where our funding would make a difference. We're opening up a new grant cycle starting in January and we'll be taking applications through the spring and we'll be awarding at least two more winners next year and that's in addition to our new partners. So we're looking forward to keeping the company Imagine Learning informed about all the great things we're doing 
and what our partners are doing, how we're making a difference. So stay tuned for more.